Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, that a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. I think that when we look in Scripture, the beginning of the Bible, Genesis chapter 2, and it talks about, you know, just the role that a man is supposed to take and a role that a woman is supposed to take, that the two become one flesh in the sight of the Lord. And I think that that's a remarkable thing and the privilege that we have as Christians in the body of Christ so that the Lord could be glorified through our marriage and through our relationship uh, that we have. And the Bible also says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And I think the awesome thing about that is that we're able to proclaim the goodness of God and his faithfulness in how we live out our marriage. We're living in a period of time where marriages are just not good examples. We have husbands cheating on their wives, wives cheating on their husbands, and the kids are the ones that are looking, and uh, they're the ones that get hurt in this entire thing. I think it's important for us to understand that the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, that we are to submit one unto another. Our submission to one another is first our submission to God. And how I've learned in the past to be the husband that God's called me to be is to put Christ first, not myself, not my understanding, not my outlook, and mostly not what I've been taught by my parents. It's what the Word of God teaches. And me and my wife have taken that approach. We've been celebrating 14 years of marriage, and we don't see the end in sight until the Lord comes back to take us home.